Hey, Visanta here. In this video, this is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon video, and we're gonna be fighting Groudon in post game. All right, so this is pretty much gonna be my reaction to my battle as well. But these are gonna be some tips that you're gonna be needing, or maybe some items. <laughs> pretty much is what you'd be needing to make this battle a lot easier. You're gonna need some pounce wands cause in the beginning, Groudon actually does like an earthquake and then spreads you apart and then you wanna pounce on there. But if you don't know how pounce wand works is that you actually have to aim it and then whatever it hits is gonna land there. At one point of, one point of this, I did actually mess up and hit my Blaziken and end up just teleporting like one square or something. It was hilarious, but <laughs> you want to want some pounce wands. You're gonna be probably wanting some sleep wands or sleep or slumber orbs. Um, confusion wands is also nice. Like if you notice here, see I'm all the way in the back here, and that is very troublesome. So you want to pounce to get over there, or in my in my case, I use a slumber orb first, so I make it fall asleep. And then you're gonna also need some all dodge orbs so you can actually dodge some attacks while you're trying to you know do stuff in between turns so i'll make it fall asleep we're just gonna watch this whole fight with me yeah and react to my own fight as i commentate so now it's just asleep the magma is over there um lunatone is completely fine and oh yeah lunatone is pretty good you kind of can find one along the way find one hopefully you can find one with hypnosis so you can kind of put it back to sleep um, in between stuff. And I have a Magnemite there for Signal Beam. If you guys didn't know, multi-attacks are pretty OP. But we're going to save that for the Rayquaza post-game battle. I haven't done that yet, but that is the original plan. Alright, so we have, you know, my Blaziken does AoE, Heat Wave, hit everything. Um, so I, hope, I, I don't know if I did the All-Dodge Orb, actually. But I should have, yes, okay. The move missed it was so nice. So now I had, I think I threw, yeah. So now I'm using a pounce wand and that sent me into the, that location over there. I should have switched to Blaziken and done that, but I hit one all over there. I was like, oh shoot. I, so when I first did it, I thought it just going to aim towards the monster and then that's where I'm going. But it actually, you have to, you got to aim it in a direction. So it was at least decent enough here. To send me close enough to Groudon. And one one thing that you want to think about is. You probably just want to save your revive seeds and stuff. For Pokemon that are actually useful like Lunatone. My mom while just freaking got knocked out. I was like eh forget it. It's fine. Yeah by the time you get here you could probably have a posse of 8. If anything. If you have Swat Up or Friend Bow. But yeah the Sandstrew is in my freaking way. I was like, dude, I, I don't want to throw a wand and then actually have it hit Sandstrew instead. I wasn't sure, so, you know, since do the Pounce wand, but I think if I were to do Confusion wand, actually it hurls towards it, but who knows. For Rayquaza, I kind of did that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so I was like, yeah, Confused! So it saved me a wand. I didn't have to do it because Signal Beam got it Confused. So I have moves that are linked up. You can also do things like that. You just link up all your moves and just unleash all of them at once. You can bring a link box right before the battle and then you will have a fun time. <laughs> Somehow it's still turned around at the right direction. But yeah, bring multi-hit moves. They're pretty OP. I'll, I'll explain that when I fight the Rayquaza because this time I'm not using any multi-hit moves. Yeah, Earth Power from Mark I'll go. Ooh. So I have a lot of range units. Range units are super nice. So once it, you know, not confused or asleep anymore, you do one or the other. Rollout. See, look at that rollout, man. Of course, if you have a Pokemon with rollout and you actually powered it up, it will actually do more than just 10 damage. So there's actually two phases for Groudon. I think he goes to Omega form. Um, after this, and yeah, Sanshiro and Staryu being stuck in the wa in the lava. There you go. Get the primal state. That's what it's called. 
Primal Groudon. So pretty much the damage is kind of like it has higher defense. Pretty much all stats are higher. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them. I'm be like, hmm. Then Shanshu is fine with rollout and everything, but he only did five damage per hit on that rollout. Or his swift, for that matter. And Staryu, Staryu wasn't was just poking at it too. But freaking Lunatone with Hypnosis is pretty good. And we have My Cargo over there just hitting it. I think eventually my My Cargo just faints, and then I'm like, okay, whatever. It's one of those. It's one of those Pokemon that I just picked up along the way. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna hopefully do a one or something. Or I do I to go ham? No. Like, am I gonna risk it? So yeah, bring confusion ones. So there is no bank or anything along the way. So you gotta make sure you bring everything prior to entering the dungeon. I should probably say that in the beginning, but hopefully you guys are still watching this video when I'm doing this. Ooh. But yeah. You have multiple link moves, you can go crazy on it. And that's steamroll, so if, if things are not very effective, like basic and attack, so just go through it. But the abilities don't matter too much. The important thing is having the items to help you control the situation. So it actually did hypnosis, and then did hypnosis again and made it terrify. As, as a melee unit, I had to go closer. It was kind of waste. But usually terrify is pretty good if you're you know using range moves. Oh no, we got separated. Oh, here's the part where I kind of messed up. Okay, I moved up two spaces. So this time I thought, oh, Palswan maybe aims towards the thing, but then somehow I just wasn't thinking straight. I was like, oh, it, it should go through my friends. I was like, nope, it didn't go through my friends. It does, it does not go through allies. So unfortunately, I just moved up like two spaces and brought everyone with me. Good thing he's still asleep though. So I switched to Blaziken. This is what you're supposed to do. Chat was freaking streaming at me. <laughs> and there you go. And then get all your stuff in there. So my Monchamp, I want to get Dynamic Punch and then do stop, Stopping Tantrum. Since I, have, I don't have no guard. All on Luntone Rip. But yeah, Luntone too good for this battle. So I had to revive it. But yeah, the All Dodge Orb is still in effect. Of course, if you faint, then you know your stats get reset. Of course, you can also bring empowerment seeds prior. And you can use them in the beginning of the dungeon and just be awakened throughout the whole match. Fusion, sleep, those are pretty much the key statuses. Like, oh no, my card go. Okay, whatever. Forget you, man. Gotta, gotta know when to who, when and who to revive. I'm not sure what I did here. Or oh, did I actually aim for Petrify and try to paralyze it? I think that's what I did. I guess paralyzing kind of works. Why am I taking my sweet ass time? Why did I exit the menu? I think I was second guessing myself. <laughs> like, what do I want to do? I don't have any more confusion one. I think that's what I was looking for. All right, we just paralyze it. Spreading. I think I'm pretty close to wrecking it. Dude, he waited 200. God. But there we go. That was the battle. I guess I didn't even need to paralyze it. I don't know. But yeah, just bring all those ones. Status effects are your friends. Don't forget that. Hopefully you guys found that battle interesting. It was my first time fighting Groudon in post game. Next thing I'm gonna be Rayquaza, but I wanna get some some multi-hit Pokemon. And with that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe for upcoming videos. Let me know what you guys wanna do in the comments down below and anything else you guys wanna talk about. And with that, all my socials are down below as well. And I do stream on Twitch. My schedule is on Twitch as well as one of the panels. So with that, later days.